What a glorious wall, keeping us safe and secure. I could gaze at it all day. Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. Oh, come to admire the Bailey? It is something. Or maybe you're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. Shit. <laughs> I'm Zahira. A pleasure. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one, refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume. Man, they really love to talk. You decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Alright, so enfeebling abilities. You now own a card that can lower the power of or enfeeble other cards. When a card's power is reduced to zero, it is destroyed and the position it was occupying becomes empty again. There are also cards whose abilities activate only when they are destroyed or enfeebled. Therefore, sometimes it benefits you to use enfeeblement abilities on your own cards rather than your opponents. Part of the fun of Queen's Blood is finding novel ways to win. Interesting. All right, now Screamer. That's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and edit the deck. So we got, got a few new ones here. That's cool. Wow, we got a lot of games. Right, Trooper, that's what's up. When played, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by four. Wow, that's nice. Trooper requires two. That's kind of rough. And the Cactor. Add Mandragora minion to your hand. I don't know what that means. This one's also pretty good to add. So we're going to keep the security officer. Alpha dunk. I'm going to keep that. Crystal and crab. Got to be careful. So, I can't play that. Homie pulled a cat.
Elephant, elephant Dunk would have been good. I think I got the... I think I got, oh, what a jerk, dude. So I did, so I gotta beat 11 now, man. Nope. <sighs> oh. Gotta do this again. All right, I messed up. Security officers do seem to be the play.
should be able to take over that third spot. Better than nothing. Oh no, don't tell me we pushed. So they're stuck. They're stuck. Can't really do much. Okay, okay, so they kind of got the middle.
raise it to two. What can I have as, as far as three goes? This, I should have the top. I should have the bottom too. It's just the top. It's gonna, the middle lanes, I'm gonna lose the middle lane. the magic pot. Oh, that was intense. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? Deep down, I I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls can keep people safe, but even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Jesus. You know, I thought Tom was some big town in the middle. Cool. All right, so pretty much taking care of that. I'm assuming the circle means like this is kind of like the edge of everything, you know. All right. Armed and dangerous. So go through here. What? Get out! You make those? My wife picked one up recently. Said it's the cutest. Thing is, I got it when I grow up. They're not for us, no. This month will take a lot. It took me long enough, but I finally went. Whatever. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Is that it? I mean, this is where Barrett's gonna be. Welcome. 
Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Okay, so adjust your weapon skills via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills, as well as stat boosts, allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Changing a character's weapon will not reset this level. Alright. Upgrading weapons by accessing the latent power in your gear. You can set weapon skills to further enhance your abilities and attributes. Try augmenting the Buster Storm. From the upgrade weapon screen, you can enhance a weapon and see its stats. Here you can see your party's current equipment, their weapon levels, and the amount of skill points needed to reach the next level. Select the Buster Sword. A weapon's attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Now try equipping a weapon skill. The nodes in which you can equip skills are displayed here. Here you will find a list of available skills. Select weapon ability damage plus 5% to equip. As you increase your weapon level, you will learn more skills and unlock more nodes in which to set them. In addition to the upgrade weapon screen, you can also tweak your skill loadout by going to the material and equipment screen, selecting the character and pressing triangle to set material. If you were to prefer a more streamlined experience, you can, auto you can opt to automatically allocate weapon skills. This can be done from the auto upgrade settings menu. You can choose how to auto-optimize your weapon skills using three available options, prioritizing attack, defense, or striking a balance between the two. As you accrue more weapon skills and nodes, the game will continue to automatically adjust your loadout based on your upgrade settings. For now, this setting will be left on main. See? what I tell you? That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels, but should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. Huh. So I guess there's nothing to miss. out of life at the start of battle breaks upon use. Nice. You take care of that weapon now. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to use said ability even when you do not have its corresponding weapon equipped. Check an ability's proficiency bonus via materia and equipment in the main menu. Jesus. Bro, this is this is a lot. Buster Sword. It has an ability. Yo, Red 13's just got a collar? Aerith has a stick. Okay. 
All right, this is all coming at me at once. There's the materia. There's that. No, I don't want to do materia. Oh. Wait, hold on. Dude. So, this is the auto upgrade settings, but I don't want to auto upgrade. I want to change the thing that I was doing. Ah, oh, I swear. Ah. <sighs> All right, man. Is it the upgrade weapons menu? Oh, I guess it is. Man, like I was right there. I love time. This allows us. Where's Barrett? Cool off with some chocolate ice cream. All right. Cloud, over here. Let's get started then, shall we? <laughs> Dude, she's fast. Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. she say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted.
gracias. Gotta be. Oh, come on, Cloud. I know you can run faster than that. Yo, they are taking over the city. Just what do you think you're <laughs> Okay. I suppose it makes sense that, you know, we've got to deal with Shinra throughout this entire game. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the end. What? Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Getaway ever. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? So very accusatory. Side. Got a contact at HQ. More with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. I guess this is okay, but I kind of enjoyed the fact in the original where it was basically just us. And we're just kind of, you know, roaming the overworld trying to figure out what's going on. It just feels way too annoying. Annoy someone else. Stop wasting our time.
Take this. It's a transmuter. It converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. What? You'll get more use out of it than me. <sighs> okay, so we got a transmuter. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So or shadow. I change my mind. You better get going. Mako sickness. He has green eyes, didn't he? From the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand to expand your transmutation options, collect transmu transmuter chips uh, found throughout the world or improve your craftsmanship. I guess so. Alright, so transmuting items, you can now transmute items and armor. Using the materials from Broden, try creating a potion. Okay, so the currently transmutable items are listed here. Increasing your craftsmanship and acquiring transmuter chips will expand the range of items you can create. Here, these are the materials and necessary amounts for the selected item. Here you can see the requirements for transmuting a potion. So 10 sage, three plants per blessing. That's a lot. Transmuting an item for the first time grants EXP, which increases your craftsmanship. Be sure to create new items whenever you get the chance. Transmuter XP gains. Item now requires fewer materials to transmute. Nice. Through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found out in the field or in chests and gained through combat. There are also items that can only be obtained via transmutation. Interesting. Okay. Jesus, like he's just falling apart right now. This goes without saying, but you'll have to lie low for a while. I'll let my friend at the farm know you're coming. Bring up the rear and ensure the others make it through safe. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. This is what this is what chess is gonna be, isn't it? It's gonna be nothing but fucking mats.
hate having a hold, man. Wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Like this. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these planes? Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, your left, your left, right. I mean, isn't that how they got to calm? That's a, that's a weird way to I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. <laughs> and there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Hey. Adjust your battle party from the combat setting screen in the main menu. You can create up to three preset parties to swap between. While exploring the world, open the commands menu and press L1 or R1 to switch parties. Press the touchpad to open the map and get your bearings. While story markers, the exclamation mark, and discovery markers, top of the circle around it, will be automatically added to the map, you can place your own pin, designated by the star, by pressing R3. Now head to the farm Broden spoke of, as marked by the star. So I guess this is it. Nice. Co-conspirator, new discovery made. Okay. Now this looks dope. Look at how big this is. This is absolutely huge. How the hell do you zoom out? Yo, this is crazy. Okay. Now, Final Fantasy 16 had some decent exploration. You know, there were large maps that you had to kind of travel between, but you know, it wasn't too, too bad. Transmutation materials. The materials required to transmute items can be obtained while out exploring the world, procured from combat, or purchased at Chocobo tax shops. If you are ever in need of a specific material, take note of its symbol, as it may point you in the right direction. Okay, so. Oh, that diamond obtained out in the world. The bone is dropped by enemies. And the gold diamond is hard to come by. Furthermore, pressing the touchpad in the item transmutator menu will reveal more information on required materials, including the regions in which they can be found. Now, this is going to be fun. This looks so good. Yo. Let's see. 
So how far is 500 meters? Doesn't seem too far. Jeez. Oh, there's so much. It looks like there's so much stuff in there. Okay, so <laughs> terrain traversal is a little awkward. It's not bad, though. It's not bad, but it is a little awkward. Let's see. Yeah, we can fall down. Is it an accessory? It's a trading token. A medal with a Moogle on it. These medals can be exchanged at Moogle Emporiums for rare and exotic items. Oh, snap. All right. There's so much stuff. That's just supposed to be Mako. Just, the earth itself is just oozing this Mako. Oh man. So I assume this is where I can purchase more cards for Queen's Blood. That's cool. over there we can climb. Ooh, rare. Pearl ginger. Man, I'm gonna be obsessed with the gathering stuff. Station of Planet <laughs> Oh, that's wild. Right. 
so I guess we're, we're kind of going to see it. It wasn't too bad. So, like, we started over there. 600 meters. The only thing I'm going to admit to being disappointed by, and this is something that I've noticed in most of these modern Final Fantasy RPGs, you really can't interact with a lot of the NPCs. They're just kind of window dressing. And they're there to make the, the world just not feel empty. One of the things that I really enjoyed about you know, the Japanese RPGs is that you could essentially talk to anybody you wanted. You know, they didn't have to say anything of substance, but, you know, at least you get to interact with them. Here, you know, they're, they're voiceless. Okay, maybe not necessarily voiceless, but, you know, they're just pointless. Or window dressing, like I said. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. I don't know if I needed to top myself up. I'm doing it You'd be the avalanche, folks. It's okay, I'm on your side. Heard you'd be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hold up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wait your Shinra's forgotten it's even there. There's some more I could do, but I ain't got the space for it.